Hi, in this video, I'm looking at finding the equation of this parabola here using the two roots. So the two roots are where the graph crosses the x-axis. So we have one root here at x equals negative 1 and one root here at 7. So we have x equals negative 1 and x equals 7 as our two roots. If you have the two roots of a parabola and you want to find the equation, you can use a basic factorized form of the equation, which is some scaling factor times x minus one of the roots times x minus one of the other roots. Now, the reason I need this scaling factor is in there is if I have two roots of an equation, I can have any parabola that fits between those two roots. There is an infinite number of equations that can fit in there. So we need to use the scaling factor to refine down exactly which way our graph is pointing, as well as how steep it is. But let's put our roots in first. So my equation is going to be a times x minus one of my roots. So I'm going to put in uh, minus negative one times x minus my other root, seven. And let's just sort out that double negative there. So that's going to give me y equals my scaling factor times x plus 1 times x take 7. So now I've got my two roots in there. I now need to work out my scaling factor. To work out the scaling factor, you need a third point. So to find an equation of a parabola, you don't need just the two roots. You also need a third point. In this graph, we thankfully have two to pick between for our third point. I've got the y-intercept there, or I've got the turning point there. And I can pick either of those points because I'm going to substitute those in for x and y, and that will leave only a unknown. And the reason I can do that is because these points satisfy the equation, which means they will work as valid x and y solutions. I'm going to use the y-intercept for this because it's going to give me a nice easy number to use because it's the coordinate 0, 7. So I've got a 0 in there, it's just going to make my life easy. So I'm going to put these in for x and y. So I'm going to have 7 equals an unknown a times x, which is 0, plus 1 times x, which is 0, minus 7. And now I just need to solve this equation for a. So let's deal with these timesing on the right hand side here first. So I have the seven equals a, and that's gonna be times by zero plus one. Well, that comes down to just being one. Zero takes seven, well, that's take seven. One times negative seven is negative seven. And now I just need to get the a on its own. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative seven so that I can cancel out that negative 7 there. And working that out, that gives me an A value of negative 1. So I can now finally write my final equation, putting all my numbers together. So I have Y equals my A value, so my A value of negative 1 times my rest of it, which was x plus 1 times x minus 7. And there we have it. We have the final equation, which is the equation of that parabola. 